Gustavo, Judge, you know, man, you got it. Put a kiss on Stanley Morgan. <laughs> It is really an honor that I am here to introduce Stanley, not because he could run a 4.2540, not because he's in Eastley High School Hall of Fame, which is 16, 17 miles of Clemson University, not because he's in Tennessee's Athletic Hall of Fame, and not because he's in New England's Hall of Fame. And now, not because he is in the State Hall of Fame. I am really honored to introduce him because I knew his granddaddy, I know his brothers, I know his cousins, and I know that he has been married to the same woman for 40 years. He is a granddaddy. <coughs> And I think all of this reaches out much further than athletics. So, Stanley, it's going to be hard to follow Preacher Davis. <laughs> but knowing you, when we had to have one yard, two yards, we'd flip it to you, and you would get it there. Roe Ro is his wife. You have corralled one of the finest people that I know of. Stanley, come on up here. Stanley Morgan. Uh, playing 
professional football. None of my family doubted me. Nobody said I couldn't do it. They supported me. They backed me. When I started playing, they were at my games. They were always there. And they gave me a lot of love. So I played there in Tennessee. Well, no, played it easily. Left there. Went to Clemson, not Clemson. Went to Tennessee. And I still get a lot of flack from a lot of Clemson boosters of why I didn't go to Clemson. But I can say this. Tennessee, I'm 2-0 against Clemson. <laughs> I'm 2-0. So when I came home, I had the chance to brag and stick my chest out. So we get to, uh, get to Tennessee, and the first person I meet on campus, my wife, Santa Baby. <laughs> She's been a part of my life for 43 years. This November, we'll be married 41 years. get a son out of <laughs> So my, I got three granddaughters. Couldn't get a son out of that, but my last one was a little grandson, so I finally got that little boy. <laughs> my wife has been my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. She's always been there for me. She's tell me when I'm wrong. And one of the quick stories I'm going to tell about her I made, <laughs> I made a mistake of teaching her football. When I met her, she, she didn't like football. She was a basketball fan. But uh, I finally, I, we sat down and I taught her a little bit about football. She was studying with me. I taught her how to read the plays when they came in. So one day, one of the games, I think it was against the Seahawks. Had a great game. And I think I had five catches, three touchdowns. So I, I'm coming up all big bed. And, but there was an audible call, and I missed it. She called it. <laughs> First thing I get is, you know you missed that play, don't you? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm thinking, So that Monday we go back in and we're watching the game films from the, the Sunday and Raymond Berry was my receiver coach. He's running this play back and forth and he says, you know Stan? I said, coach, Rolini already got on me. He said, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he already knew what was happening. But I want to thank the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame for this honor. This is always a blessing to come back home and be acknowledged by your family and friends. So I've always called easily home, even though I live in Memphis. It's to give me a great opportunity to come back and see my mom, my brothers, my cousins, my family, and to see all of you. So I want to thank you for this honor, and I know there's a lot of other guys that could have been nominated, but tonight, my name. Woo!